My name is Sylvain Turin. I'm from École Polytechnique de Montréal in Canada. And uh, today I will chair this uh, last session before the poster teaser uh, session this afternoon. So for the first presentation, we'll have uh, Professor Maritzen uh, from Engineering College of Arts. Thank you very much. And welcome to this presentation. I, I will, I'm showing some pictures, as you can see. Um, I, have, I made a paper on a course, a project course we are doing at the University uh, Engineering College in Aarhus um, on fourth semester, mechanical engineering course. Besides some theory courses, we have a project project course, you could say. And, and the photos are the results. So we'll begin there. We have only 15 minutes. I have decided to t tell a little story about what we are doing, short about why we are doing it, and some conclusions, reflections on that. So uh, this is some prototypes the students are, are, have made in, the, in this field of in, energy system technology, you could, you could say. They have to make an energy system, any kind of. It could be uh, cooling, air conditioning plants, it could be desalting machine, it could be ice making machine, uh, dehumidifier, what do you call it? Is that the right word? Uh, drink machine. Uh, this is testing, uh, this is a, actually a milkshake machine. They are make, making milkshake. At the end of the semester they have made this prototype and they are actually making milkshake. It tastes all right and yeah, they are testing a heat exchanger as the two and making the test rig, putting in the heat exchanger to test it. Uh, different kind of systems. This is a, what do we call that, a vacuum, uh, vacuum machine uh, to uh, vacuum dry uh, products that could be uh, strawberry or something. We have a picture of a strawberry also. So, so that's the end of this course. That's what it ends up with. Now I could show you, uh, yeah. Could I just, uh, I need a mouse, you know. Yeah. Something about the story behind this. What are we doing actually? Short, short about the, the framework. This is fourth semester. We are, we are, uh, our energy colleges in Aarhus, uh, mechanical engineering semester team. We have, we had this thinking about it. It should be making a system, not, not only the components that is in the system, but actually building together the components to a total energy system. That's the point. We have to, to uh, connect the things they are learning in the theory courses in this project. So actually it's about, it's about what Ed told us in this room uh, this morning. It's about knowledge uh, organization, you could say. I learn a lot of, of things in, in, in the courses connected to this. Uh, that is thermodynamic, uh, system control, electronics. You have four courses connected to this project. This is 10 out of 30. So the 20 you can calculate, that is the theory courses. So we actually try in this project to connect the things they learn in theory. And we think we succeed with it. This is how it's built, the semester is the same. Yeah, it tells the story itself. This is what I'm talking about. So the course design, we actually wanted the students to, from the start of this project, to work as an engineer, as they do in the real life. The CDO, CDIO uh, thought to work as they do when they come out as an, an engineer in the end. And we think that they are doing this. They have, uh, from the start, they have 
they have um, <coughs> the project idea. They, have, they are told that what we want them to do, a kind of prototype. They have a description of what we want them to do, and they have the time schedule. That's more or less what they have. They have to come up with an idea, what do we want to, to make in our prototype. And that's the conceive phase, you could say, to come up with good ideas. What, would we, what, what, what do we want to do? And how, when, we are dis, when we have decided that, how do we do it? What components go into this? How are they going to be put together? That's the, the conceive phase. Then they, in the design phase, they are actually making this. They are making CAD drawings. They are making the, the, the calculations behind it, the thermodynamic calculations, the, the, the system uh, uh, simulation, and so on. And, uh, and then in the, in the implement phase, they are actually making the prototype in our workshop. As you saw, the, 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 the final uh, prototypes, they are making themselves <coughs> together with the people in the workshop. We have three people in the workshop, uh, uh, educated uh, wor uh, 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 workers uh, in, this, in this field. They're helping them and they end up with a, with a, a working prototype. And they have to, do, to, uh, to actually test this prototype to be sure that they work, uh, work uh, proper. In the, in the way that it should be according to the, the conceive phase. And they are testing upon uh, the theory they have calculated. Does this uh, reflect the, the, the real life also? So, uh, so that's uh, how it is, it is uh, con uh, uh, designed, this course. The ideas behind it also uh, is uh, that, uh, that uh, they have to work as uh, engineers. And it is an effective way to learn also, I think. So this is a startup meeting. Groups are formed. We have groups at four, four to six students in each group. They are forming the groups themselves. Um, they are presented the main idea. They're making the prototype. I call it semi-open. That means we have decided that it should be, it must be uh, in an energy system. It should uh, include the theory that they learn in the courses. So uh, that's the semi one. And open, when they decide what to make, they are free to, cho to choose what, what is, how, how, is, how should that be built. We have some restrictions uh, because of our workshop. What are we able to do and what, uh, what money have we got to put in it? We have some companies that help us uh, sponsoring some of the components and uh, so on. But, but anyway, we have to, to, make, to have some restrictions of, of what they can choose. But we have seen a lot of uh, exciting uh, prototypes, that is. So I think the, the phases in the project uh, is more or less like it is uh, thought in the CDU model. You could, you could argue, what about the operate phase? As I read this operate phase, it should be operated like in real life. Our prototypes does not come out from the laboratory. So. But anyway, the milkshake machine, as I mentioned, <coughs> it's actually making milkshake. So it's OK, I think. Some examples, yeah, I showed you some of them on the photos. Milkshake machine, we have a soft ice machine, we have a drink machine, we have some uh, beer cooler, uh, that kind of thing. Small uh, systems that can be made in, made in our workshop. Why are we doing this? Yeah. The students have to work like engineers, as I told. The students learn best through active work and experiments. That is what I think, and I'm not alone. I'm happy about that. And I have also this uh, three basic elements I think they should, that should uh, 
uh, ensure learning. <coughs> that is, they have, they have to work. Not only be active, they have to work with some, be, some uh, specific products, some specific, specific things. <coughs> That's not only active. It's more, it's more than active, active focused. They have to work engaged. We only learn when we are engaged. So I have to, to think this is fun. And it's engaged in us. We want to come in the morning and work. And it, it should be within their, I, I call it bandwidth. Does that make sense? It should be something that is uh, possible for them. It should not be under, the, under this uh, bandwidth because they are fall asleep. It should not be upon because they got, get frustrated and drop out maybe. It should be on this, uh, on this uh, what do we call it? On the, yeah, yeah. Here we have the bandwidth. It should be here, exactly here, or just a little bit upon. On the, on the, can't, can't, okay. Yeah, I think it is knowledge organization. I've, I uh, added this according to this, uh, this presentation this morning. Reflections. Yeah, we have seen something we could do better. This teamwork, that means also that <coughs> someone, some of the students maybe are free riders, doesn't get into the hardcore work. How does we, how do we do to ensure them to get into this? And we also want them, when we see the report that is the result beside the prototype, they have to make a report. When we see those reports, we think it could be more systematic, the work, more scientific based. There's some improvement to do there. Um, yeah, and the reflections, we want them to reflect more on, upon the works. Uh, when they have made the prototype, and they have tested it, to go back to the start and see what did we learn from this experiment, according to what we started with. So we want them to reflect more. That's a hard work, I think. So I, here I need some good ideas. If you have one, some, just please. And then also this handwork versus learning objective. We, would, we do, not, do not want them to, to be handworker, but they think it's fun. And they go on this handworking because it's also, uh, they are f off uh, theory courses now. They are in the workshop and they have fun. They are working with their hands. And we don't, that's not a, a learning objective, you know. So how to, how to ensure the balance, that's also, something we are thinking about. And then the forming the groups, we have some, you could say, problems or uh, challenges to ensure that the groups are not only strong groups and weak groups. So the, the best students uh, not always uh, search each other, but to, to spread it more out. We have some challenges there, challenges there also. <coughs> so. Conclusions, yes, I think it's just a success. We have, did, we have done this for six, seven years, I think. Before we, we got uh, this CDIO in the house. Uh, because uh, we I think it's a normal way to work as an engineer. Now we have a CDIO, we have, a, have it in a framework, that's good. But we did it already. Uh, we have not any data that says, well, yes, this is a better way to learn. We do not, but I think it is like that. We observe the students and we observe that they work very hard with this prototype because they think it's, it's fun. <coughs> and it's fun to have a prototype that, w that is functions. Uh, they are working with 
choice uh, choice of instrumentation to the to test this, this, this prototypes and they are they are very good at it i think they learn something that they don't learn in the theory courses actually this mathematical modeling that's that is one of the challenges we have we we think that it should be improved we're working on that yeah it's it's what we think a lot of amazing amazing prototypes <coughs> and proper reports but <laughs> and it's fun also for us teachers i think it's important so that's what i wanted to say so uh, questions <laughs> couple of minutes for questions. Yeah. Please. Do you have some competition between groups? No, not not formal. <laughs> <laughs> they are making some themselves, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, well, our our prototype is very very exciting, and yours that's just so yes, in that way. More questions? Yes, please. I'm wondering, I'm studying a project at KGH in Stockholm right now, where we have been forced to evaluate each other group members and ourselves. Our work, our performance, our attitudes and everything is to be evaluated, literally, and then given out to each student as personal feedback. Yeah. Have you considered doing this for your challenges with teamwork evaluation and learning reflection and uh, all of this? Good idea. It could, it could be a good tip. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. It's not mine. <laughs> it's not yours. <laughs> we have we have actually uh, sort of a new new improvement next semester. That is, we want them to be to be better uh, to present the result to tell others what are we actually doing here, and we are we are thinking about making some kind of uh, poster session. You could call it small places here where our plant is, like we saw in the library this, this afternoon. So uh, to, to, to improve that, that part of it. Yeah. Yeah. You made a